What is up everyone? Welcome to our 54th episode of Fruit Talk with Mr. Beard. My name is Robert Lewis. I am your host for today's show. I appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in and watch us today. Um, we're not filming in our normal location since we're all working remote. I am filming from my house. So again, please bear with me on the sound quality. We're doing the best we can with what we got. Um, before I dive into today's topic, I wanted to touch on a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow is National Homebrew Day. So there's usually a lot of stuff going on for that. Uh, we'll be running a, a nice little sale. Um, but it's a great place just to kind of, or it's a great day to kind of share your, you know, your home brews, your experience with other people, with friends and family, with neighbors, you know, people that might not even know about it. So I mean, you know, post pictures of your brew and post pictures of your beer, make sure you're tagging us in it so we can share it on social media and all that fun stuff. And just make sure that you guys are, are uh, brewing something tomorrow or drinking something tomorrow. I mean, it's a great holiday to celebrate. We'll all be doing some, drinking some beer and brewing some beer at home since we're all working remote. So, you know, it, it's just, it's, uh, it's a cool holiday. It's our national holiday. So let's, uh, let's make sure to celebrate. All right. Um, our topic today, I'm going to reference my notes a little bit, but um, basically, is it better to condition your beer in the refrigerator or at room temperature? I think this is a question that pops up every now and then. We got a lot of new brewers coming into to the process right now, which is great. Um, you know, we love sharing home brewing and home brewing experience. So kind of depending on where you read or what you read, people have different answers depending on what you're brewing, what you're doing, et cetera, et cetera. But in, in, in our opinion and in my opinion, and from what we kind of recommend when it comes to conditioning your beer, it's better to let it sit at the fermentation temperature than versus just letting it sit in the fridge. Because what's going to happen just like with wine, beer will improve with, with aging the flavor gets a little better so when uh when you bottle your beer you add you know your carbonation drops which are great or you can add sugar um it kind of wakes that yeast back up a little bit again so the yeast eats up the sugars that you add creates the co2 but it also kind of wakes yeast up and energizes it to clean up any off flavors so if you have like some off flavors that you might not even notice right away but the yeast will clean those off so the longer your beer is sitting there at room temp the yeast is staying active and it's working on cleaning up anything that might be lingering any sugars that didn't get fermented out, any kind of off flavors that, that might be sitting there. So, you know, if you have a home brew and it tastes bad, then you try a bottle, you're like, God, this is terrible. It's a bad taste, bad flavor, bad flavor no carbonation, etc. Let the beer sit for another two to three weeks or even longer at that room temp to make sure that, you know, they'll build up the CO2, that yeast can can uh, clean up any off flavors that, 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 that will be sitting in that bottle and it just creates kind of a, a cleaner beer for you. Um, now, once all your bottles are kind of, once you've done that and you're ready to drink some beer, you will want to let your beer sit in the refrigerator. Um, we say 48 hours ideally, you can go for 72 or longer. Um, and, and when the beer is cold, it's kind of helping the, the liquid absorb all that CO2 back into it. So it's nice and, and bubbly for you. And it's got that nice head on it, just very foamy something that's good for you to drink uh, like I said it's the general general rule of thumb for that is to try to go for 48 hours or longer 72 is ideal um, you know when, when we're brewing at the office all of our beers at the office sit out at fermentation temp which is right around room temperature 70 72 degrees and when we're getting ready to drink it we'll toss one in the fridge like a week before or a couple days before and try to sit there so we can build up that seat that carbonation in there and make sure it gets nice and clear as well and all that sediment settles to the bottom of the bottle so you got a nice clear beer so i mean just letting them sit at room temp is you know there's nothing wrong with that for longer it's not going to hurt anything it's only going to improve anything uh, a few tips just for you real quick when it comes to conditioning your beer hop bitterness and aroma will dissipate over time so if you're brewing like bitter beers and ipas don't let those age for super long because you're going to lose some of that bitterness and some of that hoppiness and some of that IPA and that's why IPAs are so popular with craft breweries and breweries because they can be turned over extremely quickly and they taste very well because the hops are just the main course if you're brewing something like a big stout or a big heavy beer you want to let those sit for long you know because the higher ABV beers they will smooth out over time with conditioning so you have a beer with a ton of adjuncts and fermentables that's eight nine ten percent and you do your first bottle you're like god man it's just harsh they're harsh tasting they taste like alcohol almost uh let it sit over time that flavor will smooth out and it will mellow out for you and then if you're going to condition beer for longer than six months uh we would suggest either getting our oxygen barrier bottles or using some type of glass bottles because those just tend to hold up for long durations of six months plus of conditioning so it kind of varies depending on style and stuff like that but it is better to condition your beer at room temp 
If you have off flavors, just let it sit. It will clean those up for you. Um, it's just a great way to clear up your beer and something that, that we really try and push on our brewers to do. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. Appreciate you guys joining us. If you liked the video, uh, comment, like, share, subscribe. Thumbs up, whatever channel you're on. Do whatever channel it asks you to do. Uh, we post them on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on our blog, whisper.com slash blog. I'll post my notes on there as well so you can read those. Hope you guys are ready to celebrate National Homebrew Day tomorrow. Brewing some beer, drinking some beer, or all of the above. Make sure to share a beer or two with someone in your neighborhood or someone who might not know about home brewing that the amazing beer that they can make on their own which is super super awesome uh if you have not join our facebook group mr beers brewing society we ask that you answer three questions we'll let you in if you don't answer the three we won't let you in uh thousand plus members strong great place to hang out and learn all kinds of stuff about brewing recipes and all that stuff hope you guys are staying safe hope you guys are drinking some awesome beers and i will talk to you guys again next week cheers